Today's morning devotional. All judgment to the Son. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. John chapter 5 verses 26 and 27. To his Son the Father has committed all judgment. Christ will declare the reward of loyalty. The Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. And hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Christ accepted humanity and lived on this earth a pure, sanctified life. For this reason he has received the appointment of judge. He who occupies the position of judge is God manifest in the flesh. What a joy it will be to recognize in him our teacher and redeemer, bearing still the marks of the crucifixion, from which shine beams of glory, giving additional value to the crowns which the redeemed receive from his hands, the very hands outstretched in blessing over his disciples as he ascended. The very voice which said, Lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world, bids his ransomed ones welcome to his presence. The very one who gave his precious life for them, who by his grace moved their hearts to repentance, who awakened them to their need of repentance, receives them now into his joy. Oh, how they love him! The realization of their hope is infinitely greater than their expectation. Their joy is complete, and they take their glittering crowns and cast them at their Redeemer's feet. The judgment will be conducted in accordance with the rules God has laid down. By the law which men are now called upon to obey, but which many refuse to accept, all will be judged. As by it character is tested, every man will find his proper place in one of two classes. He will either be holy to the Lord through obedience to his law, or be stained with sin through transgression. He will place the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on his left. Then men and women will see that their course of action has decided their destiny. To Christ has been committed all judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Nothing escapes his knowledge. However high the rank and great the power of spiritual apostates, one higher and greater has borne the sin of the whole world. He is infinite in righteousness, in goodness, and in truth. He has power to withstand principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Armed and equipped as the captain of the Lord's host, he comes to the front in defense of his people. His righteousness covers all who love and trust him. The general of armies, he leads out the heavenly host to stand as a wall of fire about his people. He alone is the judge of their righteousness, for he created them, and at infinite cost to himself redeemed them. He will see that obedience to God's commandments is rewarded.